Morning, guys. Uh, this is Steve with Jesus is Alive in America. Because uh, he's living in me. He's living in y'all, too. If y'all accepted him in your heart. So anyhow, um, I wanted to share this dream with you. And then I'm going to just kind of share a couple other brief things with you. But I had this dream on the 5th. Um, I saw a large, light brown rectangle. At the edges, the edge was made of a cord like a rope. Then I saw God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit resting on top of the lid. I saw the earth. It was like a boiling pot. America, too, and the peop and people's lives, full of contention, anger, strife, lots of junk bubbling over. Then I saw the lid being lowered to the top of the boiling pots, of all the boiling pots. The Lord spoke and said he was bringing a season of rest upon us for a season and a purpose to call his people to the wedding feast, salvation, the marriage supper of the Lamb. But it was a short season. That's why if you're really listening to the Lord, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. You know and feel the urgency of this dispensation of time. So anyhow, I just was going to share that dream. I'll make this video brief. Um, reason why I haven't been putting out a lot of videos is i just kind of been in a interesting mode. I was... I, I got a lot of them. I wrote them down. I've been getting scriptures every night, um, dreams every night. Lord will give me specific scriptures. Um, sometimes dreams about them, sometimes just the scriptures. I'll wake up and I'll, you know, have to research them. First thing I'll do is pray. Lord, what do you want me to do? You want me to read the scripture first? You want me to pray? Sometimes it'll, you know, be pray first, then read the scripture. Sometimes it'll be read the scripture and have something to pray over but anyhow it's just been kind of a little overwhelming to me um so i said well lord i said i just need a little bit of a break a little bit of kind of a season of rest so he told me to start going to this prophecy class it's it's a prophecy ministry that we have at our church on every saturday where people can pour into your lives um and it's just kind of random people in the church it's just, it's a group and there's, you know, you never know who you're going to get. And I've been going and he said, just go to that for a while, a season. So it's like, okay, God, and I've been getting a lot and gleaning a lot, taking a lot and just from, you know, others, um, just to kind of rest in him and just kind of get recharged and revived and re invigorated and, um, because it's been a lot, and it's like, man, God, I just, and then he just had me recently write another book, um, Jesus Christ and You, the Hope of Glory, which should be down at that little icon down at the bottom, um, it's available on Amazon, I'm not quite finished, I've got 200 pages in there, the first 100 are in pretty good order, um, don't even have a table of contents yet, but the Lord gave me a, a deadline of, to have it done by July 1st, but he told me last October to write the book, and he wanted it out by January. Um, it's a myriad of things happen, and I just couldn't do it. But I put it out. Send you a free copy. You can get it on Amazon for five ninety nine um, right now because it's not quite finished. But it's a great book. Lots of scriptures. Um, so anyhow, email me at Steve Youngstrom at yahoo.com if you want a free copy of it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to try to put out some videos next week, uh, some of these other visions and dreams and scriptures that I've been having. Uh, try to put out scripture day, but anyhow, look at some other videos, share them with other people, comment. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, you can find me on Facebook too, Steve Youngstrom, uh, or my wife, Terry Youngstrom. Uh, love you guys. Appreciate you. Uh, tune in. Hope this dream helps. I might try to put out some of the scriptures that the Lord gave me in the next couple of days. Uh, just kind of, like I said, I've been writing them down. I got a book.
been writing them down. And then the Lord dealt with me about putting them in the computer. So I got them in the computer. I'm just kind of trying to formulate them, but it's a little too much right now for me. I'm working on it. So anyhow, God bless y'all. Pray for me. Um, pray for our country. Pray for our leaders. Pray for your church leaders. Just pray in general. And that's one of the main themes of the message is that I, that, I, that I minister on. Who's your source? Should be God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the Word. So that's all I'm doing is just giving it. I'm only going to give you one direction, and that's it. Go to the source. It doesn't even have to be me. I don't, you know, or YouTube or whatever. There's just so much out there. you got to kind of be really... Really careful what you feed your you feed into your mind and your spirit. Bounce it off the Word. Bounce it off the Jesus. Bounce it off God. Bounce it off the Holy Spirit. That's why I said, you know, it gives you the spirit of discernment, so that we can get it right in our lives, guys. That's all I'm saying. Even if it's me, you know, don't. I mean, if I'm saying something in here, which you know, ninety percent of it or whatever percentage, it's going to be correct. I may miss the mark some. Not on purpose. I, you know, I'm still praying through some things myself. You know, I've got issues, some issues that I need, you know, God to clarify with or straighten out or whatever, you know. Um, for the most part, no, but I mean, there's still some things He's working on in me. So, and all of us, it's part of the journey. So, but just get it from Him. That's all I'm saying. So anyhow, God bless y'all. Uh, talk to you soon. Please comment. Uh, likes, dislikes. Just, just comment on my channel and, and share it with others. Um, or, you know, go to my Facebook page. And just, Thanks for tuning in. God bless y'all. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.